what is going on guys god look at that that's a long time ago <laughs> i don't know what i pressed there but i ended up all the way down the bottom yeah you can take him on loan why not why not you have him on loan do him some good welcome back to the realism save now i want to quickly address something i've put this schedule up okay and basically showing when i'm going to be uploading videos but just because it's got Friday as realism doesn't mean it's only going to be on Friday. It just means it will def there will definitely be one on a Friday. Same with the other series. On the days that I have nothing scheduled, there could be other uploads. Like yesterday, I uploaded a Minecraft video. Uh, Tuesday, I did a quick Minecraft stream. You know, um, means nothing. It, it's just there as the basic guide to say these when you could definitely get a video so at least you don't have to keep messaging me and saying when's the next video when's the next video because you know you you roughly know you know you know there's definitely going to be one on a on a uh, a wednesday or a monday or a thursday or a friday or whatever you know and um it just makes it a little bit easier on you guys and then it, it takes the pressure off me because i feel bad when you guys message me and say when's the next football manager video coming out because you know i feel like i have to rush and go do one not that you guys make me you know i know you're not meaning it that way you just want to know when it is because you like watching the videos and that is awesome but this time of year with new job and everything it, it's you know it's a busy time it's a busy time so it's difficult to uh to you know to pull it together sometimes i have a sip of tea beautiful so last time out you saw us in that <clears throat> very decent showing against aston villa the follow-up was a mare we lost three nil to chesterfield away uh anthony grant getting sent off we did beat bolton by two goals to nil in the uh johnny p trophy cole clough and cooper with the goals there a double from Eves got us a point against uh, against Bradford, and uh, a nil nil draw against Barnsley. And last time out, we beat Coventry by three goals to two. Eves, Brandy, and Inman with the Gurus. So today we've got AFC Wimbledon. They're on a bit of a struggle. They're on a bit of a struggle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump straight into this game, and then. I wasn't planning to do this, but I've just realised we're away at the uh, we're away at the enemy we've got port vale so i'll i'll live com wimbledon and i'll live com vale and i'll do Tranmere off camera okay sweet that was the wrong button i i didn't mean to press that this is awkward okay that was awkward <laughs> i've changed my um my hotkey for recording because it's normally f9 but as you saw you press f9 and it changes the screen and i end up having to look at the transfer screen and make up some bizarre reason as to why i'm in the transfer screen 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 so you know <laughs> that in a roundabout way explains that catastrophe so i'm gonna stick with this team you know they're they're pretty pretty fit really not the happiest at the moment they're sort of up and down a bit but you know the fitness is good in the squad as of late so a defeat for Wimbledon could see them slide into the relegation zone well that's not very good is it I don't want to be in the relegation zone and because where's it gone there it is because I'm on back on camtasia studio recording i'm uh i can turn the volume up and then i can just layer it when editing it as long as i remember i forgot i forgot a couple of times in other videos if i'm honest and i had to do them again so there you go in the face apply advice to the team um should encourage the team to push on assertively hmm Hmm. So Mason, okay, bloody hell, that's a bit loud actually, it's a bit louder than I thought it was going to be, even for my delicate ears. 
Let's turn that up. Let's turn that down like that. There we go. That's a bit better. Don't know if it makes much difference. We'll soon find out, I guess. You know what a crap game this has been. Pretty full up though, aren't they? Got a few in the old stains. Anthony Griffith, former Vale player. So we'll try and hurt it. Oh god, Tom Hughes is down. Man down, man now. Uchi, Uchi. Get out there, son. And oh my god. I'm going to see if Colclough can last till half time. I don't particularly want to have to make two subs so early. Go out there and make a difference, you big lumper hunk. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, Saturday, we've got Bristol City at home in real life. And uh, I should be obviously going down to that. So, depending on how I'm feeling of the evening... Um, and circumstances just keep an eye out I'm not say it's definite but there may possibly be a st fm stream tomorrow so just keep an eye out for that and we'll we'll see um not guaranteeing it not setting it in stone if you don't see a tweet about it um happening uh then it's not going to happen um if it does happen i would imagine it will be oh, be about between eight and nine tomorrow uk time so that's the heads up okay so just keep keep your eyes which are uh, situated on your face um keep <laughs> keep them peeled or just open on twitter to see what occurs they're gonna score aren't they they're gonna beat me what a challenge from toots Go on, Billy lad. Oh, Piazza. Ooh, poor control. Go on, Colclough. Oh, tasty. Tasty. Oh, nice. Bailey. It Piazza. Oh, what a save. Superb save from that kid there. What a save. Cannot grumble with that at all. At all. But yeah, I, I just want to, you know, try and hammer home that. The the I feel oh unlucky. I feel really bad for the um I brought the wrong player on. I meant to bring I thought I could have swore I selected uh, Mason, but I've brought Grant on instead. A bit weird, but never mind, it's okay. We can we can work with that. Although I do now feel I should swap Baradas with Granty Boy. <laughs> more suited to that formation um i feel bad for not being able to put so many videos of late but unfortunately you know it's just situations change um and when you know when you're getting ready for christmas and just being made redundant starting a new job and then um oh what to save ben garrett making up for george ray's ridiculous mistake um I spoke about this on my on a video I recorded yesterday um, for Minecraft. I you know, I got my my job um, after being made redundant. I got another job pretty quickly, and I've been there for oh you son of a bitch. Um, I've been there for a week or two, and I had the Monday off because I had to, uh, it was pre something we pre arranged to do so. You know, they, they had to let me have it off, they had no choice. And I got a phone call on Monday. Oh, balls. That wasn't part of the plan. Uh, uh, Acker. No, no. Big lad. Dead in goal. You're a big guy. You know, hopefully. Hopefully for the last couple of minutes you'll be able to keep him out. Or not. We lost. That's really freaking annoying that we've lost that. Really annoying. I'm going to tell them so. I'm going to be angry with them because that was poor. Very poor. But, um, yeah, so uh, I'll just 
shoot over to that Port Vale game and then I will continue telling you what occurred in life. Okay, so we beat Tranmere by two goals to nil. Brandy, who picked up a knock, and uh, but he was he was all right. It was just a knock, and Ipiezu with the goals. So we've got Port Vale at home, and then we've got Rochdale afterwards. But obviously, just the Vale game going to be shown. Um. So yeah, so I got a phone call on the Monday, and they were like. Uh, We've made a bit of a mistake, really. And I was like, okay, what'd be wrong? And they basically said to me, we uh, we, we don't actually need anybody to do this job. We just needed somebody to pick up the pieces and get it back up to date again. And now, you know, that person is not required. And I was angry. You know, you can imagine, who's this kid? You can, I don't know, what am I doing? Just none. Let the kid run riot. That's what I say. Dean Brown. You know what, Dean? You know what? I, I'm going to put you, I'm going to put him in the squad against Vale to congratulate him on his call up to the under 19s. Billy Waters has picked up a bobble. Is that for two weeks? Motherfunker. Yeah, you take him on loan. It's all good. Um, so, you know, they were like, uh, we don't need the person anymore. And I was like, okay. You know, angry as hell. Um, they basically used me to, uh, to save their ass over the workload that, uh, that had been dropped when this person had left. And uh, they used me to, you know, claw it back and then got rid of me. And this, oh, it, it riled me. I was a damn angry little man, you know. I was furious. And um, anyway, I uh, got off the, the phone, called the agent who uh, who got me the job told her she was disgusted and apologetic and angry and all that sort of stuff and um, so I was like sugar you know shiddle whittle I've I'm back in the uh, back in the position I was in when I got made redundant now you know I've got Christmas bills all this stuff not enough money coming in now over the Christmas period to cover it what am I gonna do you know what what is there to do I had him on loan, didn't I? I had you on loan. Yeah, last season. Played 10 games, never scored. You watch him score against me now. I'll kick him in the air. Um, so, you know, I was like, crap, what am I going to do? So I kind of uh, sat back a bit. And I thought, right, nobody's going to take anybody on now before Christmas is you know, there's no point. You'd be like going in for a day and then they'd be like, or a couple of days and then they'd be like, okay, have a nice Christmas, see you when you get back. You know, sort of, sort of shizzle. So, I thought I'll apply. Can't change the situation. You know, can't magic this job out of anywhere. So, I started applying for a couple of jobs and one came up uh, in Hinkley and, um, as a recruitment manager for um, a play, for a place, I'm not going to say the name of the place, but a recruitment manager, uh, which I've done in the past. I've done, you know, I've I've done a lot of recruitment stuff where I've worked. I've been very often in charge of bringing people in and stuff like that. So I was like, screw it, I'll apply for that. Looks decent, money's good, and all that stuff. So I applied for it. An hour later, I got a phone call, and the mum was like, <clears throat> you know, you've applied for this. I work at the minute, told her what happened. She was like, wow, that's pooper duper. And I was like, I oh, know, tell me about it. And um, she then said, look, this is the way it is. They do not need to interview you. Your CV is that good. They want you to start on Monday, the 5th of January on the probation period and, we'll and then take it from there. 
Um, now the company that this is, is <laughs> my wife deals with them a lot in her job. She has a lot to do with them, and they are a bang up company. Really nice people. Um, really um, established in there. Oh, I told you. I freaking told you that Japan would score, didn't I? Oh, son of a beasting. Um, they're going to get another one here. Hate losing to Vale. I normally, uh, mind you, I've never managed crew against Vale on this game as far as I can remember. Because uh, I don't normally do saves with crew. But um, when I've managed against them with Hinkley and Wellin and Alfreton. I've, I've given them a slapping of a lifetime, but this is different. This is a derby. This is a big game for both teams, no matter what both sets of fans say in real life. It is a big game. We both look forward to it. We both love it. We both want to win it. You know, just admit it and get on with your lives, you know. <laughs> um, but anyway, I've gone off on a tangent. So, yeah, my wife's dealt with the company. We know the company well, so I was like, okay, that's fine, you know. Um... Oh, Mason, that was terrible finish. Yeah, I was like, okay, that's that's all fair enough. You know, if they don't want to do it, if you don't want to do it that way, it's fine by me. I would have preferred to have gone and seen them, just to met them, just say hi, it's me, or you, let's get it on, you know. Um, but, fine. so, the next day, uh, me and the, the agent that got me the job, um, we met up in Hinkley, and we went for a coffee just to sort out some paperwork and talk some thing, things through and stuff. And man, she was such a nice person. She sounded pretty sexy on the phone. And she was pretty sexy in real life, if I'm honest. Say that quietly in case my wife hears. But, um, you know, nice lady. Really cool. Um, had the chat. And then she goes, I'm actually going up there now to, uh, to do a client visit. Um, you know. Would you like to tag along? He's got another one, the son of a bitch. Um, and he was like, would you like to tag along? And I went, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let, let's uh, let's head off up there and uh, I can meet them. Well, we're not got anything to lose here. What's your best position, brownie boy? Oh, shit. How can't you do that? Oh! Um, limited full back. You know what? Who gives a crap? Get on that football pitch, kidder. And you and all for Brandy. And then we'll swap you and you around. That'll do. Badoosh. Badding. Assertive. Get out there and make a difference. You calm. Natural game, son. Natural game. Um, so we went up there. Chatted to them. Got on really well. You know, uh, came home, everything was good. I was really pleased. So I started that on the 5th of January. Um, really looking forward to it, to be honest. It's going to be really good to get back. The uh, only thing is it may impact, um, may mean that videos still aren't as regular, which would suck. But unless you guys get me to, you know, oh my God. Six or seven thousand. I'm just going to carry on. Six or seven thousand views of video. You know, I need to carry on working. Even six or seven thousand views of video probably wouldn't make me that much money. Oh, he's going to get a hat trick. Go on, have it. That was a poor finish. That's a finish he did for us. Little dick. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so unfortunately, I've got to carry on doing the do. Biz is chicken is that in the background so i'm just reading the advert uh, the shop sign well we've been absolutely piddle poor in both games you've seen today especially this one considering it's a local derby we've been poor another thing i just want to say um if you're going to recommend players to you guys uh i'll always check them out but you know that's a shite result with this save I'm at crew, I'm going to carry on the crew way. Simple as. Players coming through, cheap signings. 
free transfers the crew way keep things the same don't want to change that so i'm not going to spend 900k on a player at the minute i'm not going to spend 500k on a player at the minute really i don't think maybe in the odd instance but you know um i'm not going to do it uh that was a performance today i don't think it was good we were really poor yeah we were really poor i'm not gonna lie i thought we were piddle poor anyway um you know i'm not gonna do that and if you're gonna recommend players to me um god we had 17 chances as well um let me just see if yes i was angry baker unhappy with rival defeat yeah so he should be me and the man we're not happy um yeah let me just finish this up if you're going to recommend players to be in the hinkley save uh that's all very well and good and i'll look at them for sure same sort of thing that can't spend a lot of money but if you're going to recommend a player to me don't recommend a player that and this isn't me having to go at anybody this is just me saying because i'm just wasting my time sometimes looking at players that are way out of my uh my remit we're in level 10 okay that is the level that my local team will show them that's lower than than them no that is round about the same sort of level as the Hinkley, not Al Shorten, Hinkley, right? In real life. My wage budget is very small and my average wage is £22 a week. My balance is about 14 k at the moment and it's expected to plummet as the season goes on. We can't sign a £650,000 player whether it be a transfer or on loan, it's not going to happen. And their wage that they're on, say, League One, League Two, or a championship player, you know, of decent standing, that people are sort of... A, the wage they're on is our entire wage budget. And uh, I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. This isn't me like having a go, taking the mick of saying, you're so stupid. You know, it's not that at all. It's just me saying, you know, think about where Hinkley are. Think about where the player is. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. And the same on this, you know, I'm not going to fork out £600,000 to sign a player that, you know, is very similar to one we've already got. I'll have a look at them. I'll always have a look at them. But, you know don't just be like sign him sign him sign him it's like the the guy who kept telling me to sign uh edwin van der Sar's son when i was at hinkley in level 10 last season not gonna happen you know it's just not gonna happen so stop putting it he put it on like about five videos in a row and if you're watching this i'm not having a go i'm just saying you know it's not viable it's just not viable so uh, i hope that doesn't come across as i'm being patronizing or anything i don't mean it in that way at all if it does come across that way i apologize but just sort of saying you know just just have a look at the situation before you sort of offer play some players though in all fairness some players uh when this game came out would have come to me but as the updates have come out and the seasons progressed they've got better so their ratings have gone up their ability you know and stuff like that so they're at a higher level now but people might not have noticed you know people might not have realized that because they haven't started a new game for a while so that's fine you know that's cool if that's the case it's not a problem but just you know just think about it that's all i'm saying anyway before i offend the entire universe i'm gonna go away now <laughs> thank you so much for watching please drop a like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already and um remember keep an eye out tomorrow saturday uh the 20th just in case there's a stream okay thank you very much guys goodbye